lost in the dark, a forest of fear. The tall pines loomed like silent sentinels over the craggy outcrops of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Fall had sent its colors into a riotous display, a cacophony of oranges and reds interspersed with the evergreens. But there was a chill in the air, one that couldn't simply be attributed to the encroaching winter. It wrapped around Adam like a cloak as he plodded along the narrow, winding trail, a sense of foreboding gnawing at the edges of his mind. Adam had always found solace in nature, escaping the frenzy of city life whenever he could. This was supposed to be a restorative weekend trek, a chance to recharge before the winter storms rolled in. But now, as the shadows lengthened and the sun dipped low behind the peaks, he realized that something was off. The trail markings were becoming sparse, and with each step, the familiar landscape transformed into a twisting maze of unfamiliarity. Just a bit further, he muttered to himself, though the words felt hollow. He had lost track of time. The more he walked, the thicker the fog seemed to wrap around him, curling into his lungs with an oppressive weight. With dusk dissolving into night, the dimming light began to play tricks on his mind. Shadows darted among trees, flickering just beyond his line of sight. Hello? he called out, forcing his voice into the stillness. The sound echoed back, swallowed by the thickening fog. No response. After trudging for what felt like hours, Adam finally stopped to catch his breath. He pulled out his phone, but there was no signal. Just a blank screen lit by the dim glow of the battery symbol. Panic squeezed his chest. He couldn't just stay there. He had to keep moving. As he turned back to the path, he caught sight of a flickering light in the distance, glowing faintly among the trees. Hope surged in his chest and he hurried toward it, weaving between the trunks and under the low-hanging branches. If there was someone else out here, they could help him find his way back. The closer he got, the more the light pulsed, a flickering flame that seemed to dance with a life of its own. He emerged into a clearing where the trees opened up to reveal a small cabin, its windows glowing as if lit from within. It appeared abandoned at first glance, but the warm light spilling from the window suggested otherwise. Adam approached cautiously, heart racing and curiosity peaked. The door creaked ominously as Adam pushed it open, revealing a space filled with rustic decor, hand-carved furniture, faded photographs lining the walls, all cloaked in a thick layer of dust. He stepped inside, calling out, Hello? Is anyone here? The cabin swallowed his words, silence wrapping him in its cold embrace. Something didn't feel right. He couldn't shake the sensation of being watched, a prickling awareness at the back of his neck. As he wandered deeper into the cabin, he came across a dully lit room filled with jars lining a shelf. Each jar contained what looked like strange, murky liquids and odd objects suspended within them, some swirling ever so slightly as if they were alive. A chill raced down Adam's spine, a voice whispering in his ear, urging him to leave. Then he heard it, a soft sound, almost like laughter. He spun around. Hello? No response. He took a cautious step back, his instincts screaming for him to turn and run. But before he could act, the laughter grew louder, a haunting symphony of eeriness echoing within the cabin walls. It wasn't human. It was layered, unlike anything Adam had ever encountered. Driven by a mixture of fear and morbid curiosity, he pushed further into the cabin, his heart pounding like a drum. The laughter faded abruptly replaced by whispers that slithered into his ears. They were incomprehensible, a chaotic blend of malevolent tones that wrapped around his mind, tightening with each passing moment. Get out! A voice hissed, barely a breath. Suddenly the air grew heavy and stagnant. Adam stumbled back, eyes wide as the shadows in the corners of the room deepened, coiling like serpents ready to strike. Panic surged through him, propelling him out of the cabin and into the night. The fog thickened around him, swallowing the path he had followed and weaving a treacherous labyrinth. Where am I? he gasped, the realization dawning on him that he was truly lost, isolated in this ghostly landscape. He stumbled down a path, guided only by the eerie moonlight filtering through the trees. 
Each blade of grass felt like fingers gripping at him, the woods alive with sounds that echoed his fears. Behind him, the whispers returned, more insistent now, a chorus of disjointed voices ringing in his ears. They tugged at him, coaxing him to turn back, to return to the cabin. But Adam could not. He pressed on, adrenaline propelling him forward. The landscape shifted, as if the mountains themselves were conspiring against him. The trees grew denser, their branches reaching out menacingly, claw-like. Every step felt heavier, the pull of the cabin's malevolence gnawing at his resolve. Just when he thought he could escape, the whispers intensified into screams, cries of anguish that reverberated through the night, drowning out his own breaths. He broke into a sprint, blindly navigating the darkened trail, until finally he collided with a figure emerging from the shadows. Please help me, he gasped, fear flooding his voice. But the figure just stood there, still as stone, a grotesque smile splitting its face. It was a woman, dressed in tattered clothes, her long hair spilling over her shoulders like a dark river. Just behind her, the outline of the cabin loomed, as if it had followed Adam back from the depths of the woods. Join us, she cooed, her voice melodic yet terrifying. You've been waiting for so long. Adam's heart raced in his chest as the whispers grew into a tumultuous roar, enveloping him, and with one last desperate gasp, he turned and fled. He didn't stop running until he broke through the trees, emerging onto a familiar trail. The moon hung high, casting a silvery light over the landscape ahead. He was still lost. Dread filled him, but he forged ahead, desperate for an escape, each step weighted by the knowledge that the mountains held secrets meant to remain buried. Behind him, in the depths of the woods, the whispers faded into laughter, an echo that would haunt him as long as he drew breath. No one would ever find him, not in a world where nature cloaked its horror so elegantly, where the mountains whispered lies in a language only they understood. Adam was swallowed by the Blue Ridge, a lost soul woven into the fabric of its dark allure, and the woods would whisper on. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with chills unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.